Alright guys, we are back with another Savage Stream. In this video, we are going to be looking at updating our Ravencoin wallet. They just recently released a new version, so we're going to take a look at that. You can see right here I've got my folder open with where my wallet shortcuts are. I'm going to go and just do some double checking here and make sure that I'm in the right location and that I am going to be updating the correct wallet and all that stuff. Some of this is not really necessary if you just, you know, use the same blockchain folders and all that can just, you'll see where we are going to extract some files, you know, that we download from the Ravencoin website. But right here, I am just going to verify location of the files. And I just want to make sure that I'm going to check the properties of this file right here because that is your QT wallet executable. I want to look at the properties of it to make sure that I'm on the right version and all that good stuff. So that is what we are doing right here. Go to the details tab. You can see that's version 4.2 here. So once that's done, we'll go back out to the wallet. You can see here that it is, it's got some warnings. It's got a new wallet version up there at the top. It's got a message, a warning message over here on the right. But I want to make sure that my wallet is up to date. And by up to date, it doesn't mean the version. It just means that the blockchain is synchronized and that everything is good to go. That's what the little check mark is down there at the bottom right hand corner. And then you can see the new wallet version up here. And then the warning over here on the right. So we're going to get rid of all that. That's what this is all about. So I'm, I'm going to click on new wallet version. It's going to take us over to GitHub. You can be pretty confident that this isn't like a malicious link or anything because it's coming from the wallet. So I think that that's okay to go ahead and, and have a pretty good amount of confidence that this is gonna be okay. I'm using Windows, so I am going to choose the Win64 bit version of wallet 4.3.2.0. You can see all the stuff that it updates here. It's not a ton, but it was uh, an important update. I don't believe that it is a required update, but I mean, because my blockchain still synced and everything now. I don't know what would happen after the fact, but it seemed to be working okay. So I'm just going to download the Windows 64 version here. Signed version. going to extract it and it pops up with this I just right click and chose extract and it's got to have the destination I'm just going to extract it right in the same location and then I'm going to copy that file once I go into it and kind of see what what it is make sure that everything's there I'm going to copy the file and then I'm going to go back to the wallet location it's on a different drive so let's get over there it's on my data drive. So once I get over there, I've got a folder in here called Raven, and that's where my wallets are. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, uh, delete a shortcut here too. Paste that in there, and then uh, verify the, the numbers and all that. Now you can see that this shortcut here is pointing to the wrong location. It's pointing to the, the old version. So I'm going to delete that shortcut and create a new one. And this is just the way I have my stuff set up. This is not saying that you should set yours up this way. It's just how I do it. Create a shortcut. I'm gonna rename the shortcut just for the heck of it. Make it a little bit slicker. I'm gonna copy that shortcut out to the location of the other one, the previous one. Paste that. Now I'm also going to throw it in my wallet shortcuts folder as well. And delete the old one. Just so I'm on the right, I know I'm on the right page whenever I go and launch this in here. Now I'm, I'm executing the right file in order to start up my Ravencoin wallet. Before I launch it, I've got I've got some wallet.dat files here. 
and what you'll want to do is copy those this is just a precaution it's not required or anything but uh, I like to make a backup of my wallet.dat files before I go and launch a new wallet that is going to be accessing them now in this case I'm just copying them on, over to a folder on the same drive I would recommend throwing them on a USB or some other external media uh, in order to back them up but you can see here I just threw them on on the same drive this is just for the video so once you have a good backup then it's probably safe to go ahead and launch the new wallet executable you gotta close the old wallet first and then launch the new one comes up with a pretty standard warning letting the executable get through and out to the internet and my system here is also going to come up with a Windows Defender warning It's actually on my other screen and it did actually launch and it looks like everything's okay but the firewall warnings on my left screen here I think I let me drag it over here real quick I'm gonna change this from public I, I just change it to private only allow it through on public I'm sorry on private networks Check the version number, you can see it is the latest version here, 432. And that pretty much means we are good to go. We've got a check mark in the bottom right hand corner, it's all synced up, everything's good. I haven't like tested a transaction or anything, but I think we're going to be solid here. If you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell and all that stuff. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Ravencoin, whether or not their development is going the way you think it should or uh, would like to see it. And yeah, I think that's it. Stay savage, everybody.